Hey guys, today we're going to talk about brain in a jar, which is an interesting one to talk about, but it's increased 250% in price given a deck that a certain player has made. Now, Saffron Olive is known for his rogue deck builds. He is quite a following of people who are interested. And he makes very creative decks that can win at FNM, which are budget decks. So very much like, you know, having that effect will increase the price on any card that he's playing in that particular deck. And one of the decks uses Brain in a Jar. I believe it's the mono blue version of it. So this card is very unique. It's interesting in many various components, but talking about it financially, it's a card that would normally be bulk. Um, the reason it's not bulk is because a lot of people are playing it. There's actual demand for this card. People are buying play sets of it. And as you can see, the foil copy is $10. So not only buying play sets of it, they're also buying foil copies of it. But the overall deck, um, it began at under $30 and has steadily risen since that time, but it's still an affordable deck to take at FNM. And these budget decks, when you um, look at a budget deck and you follow somebody, that Saffron Olive is definitely someone interesting to follow. He has the potential to spike a card given his article. So whatever, uh, it's kind of like Travis Wu effect um, a long time ago, maybe a few months ago, where he makes a deck, the deck is a rogue brew, and people just want to try it out, and then the card goes up in price. So definitely keep on your, follow him on Twitter, Keep him on your radar because I'm guessing he's going to make a lot more interesting budget brews soon and those cards could spike in price.